Uh, I'm going to show you my compressor and I want to do a test with it. I want to see how long it, it, can, it will fill up uh, these tanks here. These tanks. I believe both of these here are four gallons combined. Um, I'm going to do a uh, timer on my watch here. Let's see how long it, fill, it takes to fill up with these two. And I believe the max PSI for one of these is um, 100, 100 or 125. I can't remember what it stops at. But then after that, I'm going to drain it completely with this valve down here. See, she's all the way open. And there's, there's nothing in it at all. There's nothing in it at all. Then I'm going to go over here to my brand new uh, central pneumatic uh, 11 gallon portable air tank and see how long it takes to fill both of them. Then I might do one with this blue one here filled. I might fill this one first and another one, another one of my tests, fill this one first, wait until it kicks off, and then plug this air, air hose into that and uh, see how long it takes to fill that with this. So here we here we go. As I let this air compressor charge up, and it took approximately four minutes thirty. Wait a minute. There we go. Four minutes thirty-five seconds, approximately. <coughs> Fill up to about oh, ninety-ish psi. Yeah, about ninety-ish psi. And if anybody is wondering what brand this is, this is a Campbell Housefield. I believe it's a four gallon. Um, now, next thing, <coughs> we're gonna take we're gonna take this thing here, put that end there onto. There's a little end right there. Right there. Right next to the black there. The black holes. And I'm going to plug that in. And see how long it takes for this compressor to fill up those tanks. And this 11 gallon Harbor Freight tank. Okay guys, I'm sorry I didn't record it, but... Uh, this... Compressor here, the regular compressor got up to, um, let's see here, around 100 where it was last time, like right, right just a little bit below 100 here. Sorry about that, a little bit below 100 there. And, uh, instead of doing what I was talking about, gonna do, I just took off, oh, where'd it go? I just took off this hose that they had that uh, was on there from factory I just took that off and this right here is the same thread same size as um, a three quarter inch um, coupler I think they call that coupler yeah and um, oops sorry about that um, so I just screwed that in until it got tight, then I took this, my air hose, and I 
Just plugged it on like that. Just like that. And this, this uh, tank got up to 60 PSI. And then the compressor shut off. The compressor shut off. And now it's maxed out at around 100 PSI. Um, yeah. That's really all I can think about right now. Um, I think why this tank here um, only went up to 60 because these are rated for 100 and 25 PSI. I believe this one here only went up, or this one only went up to 60 PSI. Um, I think because this one has more volume than the regular air compressor here. I think. Um, yeah, this one was maxed out, the compressor shut off, or the the motor shut off on that one. And this one was at 60 PSI. Um, but, again though, I have a 50 foot hose connected to it. When I do a, uh, see what I'm thinking about doing is <coughs> having this a permanent extra air tank for my uh, compressor so it doesn't have to kick on. Um, every or it doesn't have to kick on as much I guess you would call it um, but yeah I'm thinking about um, taking this shelf out here and building like a uh, enclosure or putting it up in the rafter up here or something like up there or something um, with a, a platform and box it all in so you can't really hear it as much you know um, but yeah when I do a build with this compressor and this air tank um, and make a box for it I am going to have a smaller uh, hose um, max probably is like two feet I think I want to go on this because I think that 50 foot hose see it's all wrapped around I think that 50 foot hose is um, taking a lot of pressure away from the air tank here um, yeah and the time for the compressor to fill up uh, I believe those are four gallons combined and this is a 11 gallon um, it took around um, 17 minutes to fill this tank to 60 psi and uh, those two four four gallon combined tanks to around 100 psi um,